everyone, welcome to Friday Friday. I'm Shannon Smith, concept designer at FSJ. And today I thought in honor of Memorial Day and all of the upcoming patriotic holidays, I thought we should make some sort of a project to reflect that. So I'm not making a card today, kind of strange, but um, we are going to make a fun project. And we will go ahead and get started. We're going to start with these animated stars. You may remember them from the holiday mini. They actually come with five in a package, but I've already robbed this one, so I'm gonna set that one aside. And I'll bring these guys in. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to paint this. We're going to use our beach ball paint. And I'm just using one of my clear sheets. These are the sheets that um, come with our stamp sets on them. When they come to you, they come, they're actually on the sheet like this and then you just move them over to the card. But always keep these because they come in very handy when you're doing any kind of crafting. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll just stick our paint right on there. Might need a little, well, that's probably good. And we're just gonna brush that right on. And you can see these are three-dimensional. And this paint actually doesn't take very long to dry. It's kind of nice that way. Of course, it helps that we live in Arizona, so that might have something to do with it. <laughs> So you'll have to put in our comments today. Now I'll remind you that I don't see the comments until after, and but I always go back and I will respond. But maybe you could put in there some of your Memorial Day plans, what you guys are doing this weekend. My family is buying a barbecue this weekend, so we are going to barbecue. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on here. And we'll just slide that on. All right. And then I actually have already painted a white one and a red one. And I will grab those in just one second. You know, I get so used to using the ink, sometimes I forget that we have the paint. We have awesome acrylic paint. It works great on our gel press as well. All right. We will let this guy dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap my paintbrush up so that I can clean it after. All right, so now I've got the white one and the red one here and we're just gonna make some cute little embellishments for these. We have some really cute sets for, that are patriotic. We've got our Old Glory set, we've got Freedom Sparkle, we've got All You Do. This one is actually new. This one is in our current mini catalog. And we're gonna use a little of all of them. So we will start with Freedom Sparkle. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this cute firework. And I'm going to use candy apple. And then I'm just gonna take 
my scallop punch. This one happens to be one and three quarter, three, one and three quarters, yes. And we are just going to, I'm gonna have to trim it just a little bit. Then I can cut it out better. <laughs> okay, I might trim it just a little more. Okay. There we go. That's one of the things I like about our punches is you can see where you're punching. Okay, so we've got that guy. We'll set that aside for a second. And now we are going to use this cute little flag. And we are going to stamp that also in candy apple. I'm just going to clean that off and I'm going to use it again because I'm going to use beach ball. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and stamp all the things we need to stamp and then assemble them. It's just easier. So we'll just make this guy. And we're going to stamp this little banner. Now I will stamp. Okay, so on this USA stamp, I'm going to go ahead and ink it up with the candy apple. And then I'm going to take the beach ball ink and just go around the edges a little bit. I probably went around them a little more than I actually would usually do, but I think it'll be okay. So it's just a little more blue than red, but very fun. And this actually has an, a die that goes with it, which I actually have already cut out. So we'll just set that aside. And then lastly, we're going to stamp Liberty on this little strip. Don't judge me too harshly if it's not straight. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now let's just, we're just gonna fussy cut these. Thankfully, they're just pretty simple shapes. Now on the flag, we're just gonna take the, on the blue one and cut out the stars because we are going to paper piece that onto our red flag. So usually I leave a border, but when I paper piece, I cut right as close as I can. All right, so now I'm just gonna grab some foam square for this. Well, actually, we better cut this guy out first, huh? All right. Do you guys decorate for the patriotic holidays?
I like to decorate. I always just wait a little too long. So I end up only having like a week or so of stuff up. But I think I'm going to try to get it done this weekend so I can enjoy it a little longer this year. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and this guy up right here so that we'll give that a little dimension and now we're going to take our Liberty and we're just going to notch the edges I like kind of putting a little curl in it so it looks like it's waiting and then we will put both of these I think this is just about dry it's a little bit wet but maybe we'll actually attach that one last that will be ready for it okay so now let's just go ahead and put this guy on and I'm just going to use one of our medium foam squares I'm just going to pop that right over the top. We'll set that aside for a second. And now, scissors will be better for that. Okay, so now we're going to take this guy. We're going to pop that up onto this firework. And now we're going to add, now this little button, so cute. I love these little sparkle buttons. They are part of the summer burst buttons. Let me show you. They come in three different colors. They have several sizes. I'm just showing you a little bit of them. So cute. So we're just going to take a little bit of red twine and tie a little bow through that. don't want a skinny bow. I like puffy bows. So we'll just shape it a little bit. Okay, so we'll just trim the edges of that. And we're just gonna, I, you know, I'm just gonna use a foam square for that. Just gonna stick it on the back. Hopefully not untie my bow in the process. Okay. And now I'm just going to kind of tuck it right in there. And so this is our embellishment for our red star. I didn't let me check which side. Okay. And I think our blue is now ready for me to add the embellishments. I love our foam squares. They hold so well. And they just add so much dimension. So we're just going 
to curve it a little bit. Sometimes they hold better than we want them to. No, just kidding. Okay, there we go. So, I think that looks good. Now, this is the last little bit we need to do. I'm just gonna take my detail scissors and I'm just gonna poke a little hole so that I can slip. This is just, you just buy these at the grocery store. This is just like a barbecue skewer. And we have these cute dowel stands and they come with 10 in a package. And we're just gonna use some of those. And we're going to use our craft shears to cut these down a little bit. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it first. Be prepared that the little uh, wood piece on the bottom is probably gonna go flying, so make sure you kind of keep track of it and you can grab it after. Um, let's see. Let me just show you, we'll stick that through. Let's see, I'll do this one a little bit shorter. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the pieces flying, it's kind of funny. Okay, so we're going to just add those in. And actually, you probably want to put a little bit of craft glue on both ends of your skewer. If you are familiar with our craft glue, then you know how awesome it is. It dries clear and it holds very, very well. And I just, I'm gonna fill the little hole in my dowel. And that is ready to go. And I'll just show you the finished project. Actually, there is one more step that I haven't shown you yet, and that is um, to take journey glaze. And I'm just gonna journey glaze This just adds some shine and some dimension, but we're actually going to put a little bit of sparkle dust on top of that. So, it doesn't take very much. I just take a little pinch and then I just sprinkle it on really light. I guess it depends on just how much shine you want, but I just, I think it just stands out better if there's not too much, too much. You can always add more, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and grab the finished project. First, I'll show you what they look like laying down. So you can kind of see the fronts of them. So you can see I added the, the sparkle dust here and all across that. And then I've added some cute little um, twinkle trim, some twine, but I'll just show you what they look like standing up. And you do want to cut the dowels down just a little bit because the they'll be a little more sturdy as far as standing up goes. How fun is that? Just a simple project. You saw it didn't take very long at all. It's something you could actually do with your kids. It's something that you can keep up from now through the 4th and you'll have your cute little decoration. So I hope that you will enjoy this. I hope that maybe it gave you some ideas and that maybe you'll make a fun project. Um, I would like to say here um, with Memorial Day this weekend, I would like to go ahead and thank the servicemen and servicewomen who do serve our country and who have served our country. 
And I hope that you will have a good weekend this weekend with your families and that you will join me again for Tri-Day Friday. Thank you so much. Thank you.